All right, that was Dutch. Let's go quickly to Dublin. Yesterday in Dublin, uh, uh, there was a, a tragic attack by uh, an immigrant Muslim uh, in a uh, in a uh, uh, a school where he um, uh, he stabbed three kids and, and two teachers. Uh, one of the kids is in critical condition in hospital. Luckily, nobody has died yet of those wounds, but uh, three kids are in hospital, uh, or, or one kid is, is in critical condition. Um, is it, 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 immediately after the news came out and that when it was rumored that it was a, a Muslim who had committed, uh, committed the crime, uh, f about 500, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell uh, who, who uh, you know, what the numbers are, but a significant, uh, several hundred, maybe several thousands, hard to tell. Uh, Irish uh, men, primarily men, I think it was, went out into the streets and basically rioted, uh, uh, burnt down a, uh, a hotel that uh, was, uh, had been used to house uh, asylum seekers in, um, in Ireland. Uh, they, they burned cars, they, they, you know, they rioted. They, they uh, you know, uh, uh, were incredibly uh, disruptive. Uh, they took over the streets, they uh, damaged uh, a number of vehicles. They torched a bus, um, and they damaged thirteen properties in addition to the uh, in addition to the uh, the hotel. At some point, the police were having a very hard time uh, controlling this, and and there were some rumors that they called in the military. I don't think the military actually uh, it was used, but uh, but um, uh, you know it was it got pretty dicey and pretty unpleasant in Dublin, a beautiful city, by the way, uh, last night. Uh, 30, I think 36 people were arrested and, and are in jail. Uh, and uh, uh, there is a call now from these demonstrators or these rioters and others. Uh, there was a call to, um, um, uh, to bring about, uh, to, to eliminate or reduce immigration again. So while I know Remo is minimizing the role of the Hamas, pro-Hamas protests, I, I don't, I think that's a mistake. I, I think all over Europe, I think, and, and this is a broader issue, maybe I'll do a show on this tonight, and this is the broader issue that I think um, all the Muslims do when they go out and they demonstrate and they, and they support Hamas, all they do is they in, incite or, or, or awaken if you will, the, the nationalist tendencies in many of these European countries. All they do is ignite a fire that will ultimately consume them. It's still small because the terrorist attack happened in Israel. It didn't happen in Europe. But imagine if a terrorist attack, if a terrorist attacks start happening now in Europe. I mean, when they did 10 years ago, when ISIS uh, ran amok in Europe, these right-wing parties were just awakening. Now, they're well-established. Now, the networks of people opposed to Islam in Europe is dramatic and significant. If there was a, a string of terrorist attacks in Europe now, I think the response would be a lot more brutal than it was, what is it, eight, seven, eight, ten years ago, when ISIS... And, and Al Qaeda going all the way back to the bombing in the uh, British subway. They will awaken the Europeans. They will awaken European nationalism. They will awaken uh, the worst in European nationalism. And, and, and they will be its victims. So beware, Muslims. You know, you might, you might regret all of this.